Greetings. Check it out. This is Mr. Royce, Royce Media, coming at you guys with yet another video. And on this video, I'm going to discuss something about the Ahmad Aubrey case. Now, I'm going to be coming at this case from a different angle than you all are used to because everybody's talking about whether the shooting was justified or not and talking about um, the rights of black people being able to move about and to go into places and whether trespassing or not occurred and different things like that. Well, I'm not going to talk about any of that. I think that's been covered pretty much by everybody that has discussed this case. So, as I said before, I'm going to do something different. I'm actually going to talk about what the two McMichaels guys did and why this is an important conversation with a lot of the people who talk about um, how the black community needs to police itself. Now, if I'm not mistaken, um, the older McMichaels was a retired police officer and he lived in this neighborhood where the incident occurred. Now, in this incident, um, I'm not sure how he was alerted that there was an alleged trespassing offense that took place, but basically he took matters into his own hands to um, investigate and handle the situation, him and his son. Now, getting back to um, the people that talk about how um, blacks in particular should police their own communities, this is a situation of community policing, not the community policing that many of us are used to hearing where uh, the police come out and make nice with the citizens of the neighborhood and answer questions and different things like that but rather people actively patrolling their neighborhoods and investigating crimes and, you know, um, basically providing security for the neighborhoods. Now, this is an important conversation because if black people are to police their own communities, this is a situation that reasonably can happen in black neighborhoods as well. You see, if you have people forming um, neighborhood watch and, and, and groups like uh, uh, groups like this you're going to have situations to where if they come up on a crime or they hear about a crime um, they're going to take matters into their own hand um, especially if they see something or something just happened and they see somebody fitting the description of the alleged offender um, it's reasonable to think that um, some of the, poli the, the community policers will um, take matters into their own hands and attempt to form, perform a citizen's arrest. So now in the act of performing a citizen's arrest, it is quite likely that somebody can get injured, even gravely injured in a situation like this. This is important because you have to understand what the laws of the land are, um, how to conduct um, citizens' arrests, what to do if the alleged offender resists, um, how to handle situations like that. Now, this situation ended up in an unfortunate result and uh, ultimately it's going to be handled in the courts and I'm pretty sure everyone is going to be watching closely to see how it is handled by the courts of Georgia. Now this is uh this is interesting to me because you have a lot of people that are playing armchair quarterback saying what they would have and what they wouldn't have done and what was right and what was wrong and likely these are people who haven't been involved in situations where they had to take someone into custody for an alleged crime. So this is something 
I would like all of the people that voice the opinion that um, their community, um, the black community, should be policing its own because in the black community, you do have crime. You're going to have crime, whether the police force comes from outside or within the community, there's going to be crime it has, and it has to be handled. Um, and by being handled, there's going to be times where people are going to be taken into custody. So that is something that has to be looked at a lot closer by the armchair pundits. Okay. Now, in a situation like that, I know what I would have done. So I have a background in security and I have a background in um, dealing, make, doing patrols and, and, and doing things like this. So I know how I would handle the situation. But it would be interesting to hear how um, some of these community, um, some of these armchair pundits again, how they would handle a situation like this. You know, um, ultimately, like I said before, ultimately this case will be handled in the course of Georgia and I've seen some videos of what allegedly happened and I'm going to reserve voicing my opinion until it is handled in the courts and, and more evidence is um, fed out to the public so that the public can have a better general idea of what happened and, and, and um, what should happen from the results of this but again this is something that seriously needs to be taken into consideration and you know I'm big on protection um, and how to and, and how people what they should the steps they should take to protect themselves um, from the very beginning to avoid situations like this to avoid situations where um, someone has to be protected but when you look at this you know, this is one of those situations. Um, furthermore, I'd like to point out the fact that uh, Mr. McMichaels and his son could be considered part of that quote-unquote warrior class. Now, that this is interesting because this is what some people have called for, to, uh, to have a warrior class, to have a protective class, the community, to protect all of the women and the small children, and... You know, as I've stated before a couple of times, that, you know, sometimes when um, crime, alleged crimes have happened, somebody's going to be need to, somebody's going to have to be taken into custody. So, you know, when you have a so called warrior class, when you have a so called protected class, this is what comes with that. So, this is something um, that people find this outrageous that this happened and whatever feelings they have about what about what, what happened um this is going to be something that um it's going to be a learning lesson for really everyone um all spectators all people involved so forth and so on so um that's pretty much my thoughts on this this is mr royce of royce media like share and subscribe get in the comment section i'm pretty sure um you all will have something to say. Um, some of you all will bitch, as you usually do, because that's what's in you. I don't give a shit. You know, do what you do. This is Mr. Royce from Royce Media, and I'm out.